Hi, my name is Kevin from EasyGeneratorSwitch.com and we're here today to show you how to install one of our switches and uh, give you a quick rundown in case you have any questions. Uh, first off is you want to make sure that your panel is off. This is a mock panel. It's not a real panel. We just set it up for this demonstration. So you'd want to come in and you'd want to make sure you shut every single one of your breakers off. That's the best thing you can do completely dead, you should be qualified and you should understand certainly what we're doing. Um, this, uh, this example here, we have searched out and marked like we were looking for a furnace. Uh, you can do your furnace, you can do your lights, you can do outlets. Um, any 120 volt circuit, uh, 15 amp, and you can certainly put this on a 20 amp breaker because it has a 15 amp breaker in it, so it would only allow 15 amps to go through. So we've searched out the uh, furnace one for an example, and it's connected, and I'll run you through it. This is our switch right out of the box, and I will show you the installation process. Um, the first thing we want to do is we ship our switch with the ground connected. So you just want to loosen that ground up so you can relieve the switch. Uh, you're left with a four inch square box, and what we normally do is take a knockout out of the box and we use an offset nipple. Offset nipples are available at like Home Depot or your electrical supply house or Lowe's. They make the job real simple. So what you want to do is take your offset nipple, take the lock nuts off of it. We knocked out one of the knockouts in this box that we supplied for you. And you want to connect this offset nipple to this four inch box. After you do that, you can slide it right in to your panel knockout. Put your lock nut on. And in this case, we'll, uh, we'll put a couple of screws to kind of hold everything in place while we do this for you. You can see the ground screw in the back of the box at this point. It's important that once you once you get this completed, that you know the grounds are hooked up at all areas, at all areas. Okay, so what you want to do is grab our switch. Our switch is completely pre-wired. There is nothing for you to do. Take the wiring and slide it through that offset nipple. Okay, at this point, we can reconnect the grounds because the, uh, we're done with the switch at this point in this location. So what we want to do is maneuver the wiring around so you can get that ground hooked up in there again. I'm going to get my hand in here. A little tight. Okay. Our grounds are hooked up. Push this back in. We'll take our screws. Pretty simple installation, pretty quick, pretty cut and dry. Um, I'll show you the panel end of it here in a second. Our switch is mounted. So at this point, when we've traced out the furnace, we've we found that it comes to this circuit breaker. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take our, our hot wire off of that breaker. Take that off. And at the same time, we want to trace out the neutral that comes from that furnace. And we find it up here on the neutral bus. In this installation, this would be a main panel so our neutrals and our grounds are connected in the same location along this bus line here. In some instances, you'll see a separate bus bar attachment over here with all the grounds on it. It may even be mounted down here. But if that's the case, then that's where you want your grounds to go. And I'll show you that in a second. All right, so we've got our furnace completely disconnected right there. We'll take our ground from our switch and uh, we will connect that first and get it out of our way. So we want to tuck that away, try to be neat. If 
There's our ground connection. It's done. So we're grounded in the box. We're grounded here. The next thing we want to do is from our switch, there are two whites. They're both neutrals. One neutral says line side. One neutral says load. Load would be going out to your furnace or be going out to whatever it is you're feeding. So we'll take the white that is going out and our wires are pre-skinned so you just have to pull those little tabs off and we'll take the load neutral and tie it to the load going out and we supply you wire nuts for this they come with it put your wire nut on there make sure it's good and snug tuck it away the next neutral we want to pick is the neutral line and that neutral line will go back up on this bus bar that the original one came off of. So we'll put that back underneath here again. Like that. So now your neutrals are connected. You got your line and your load neutrals connected to our switch. And you, once you get done, you can tuck all of this away. Sometimes it goes and stays there nicely and sometimes it doesn't. But you can certainly do that. Okay, yep, we have two more wires here. The black wire is our load wire and that will go to your load that's going out. Okay, again it's pre-skinned. Wrap our wire around there real good. We try to get at least one full rotation for a good connection. Wire nut that's supplied. Snug it up good. Tuck it away. You're left with one wire and that's our red feed. And this will go back on the breaker that we took the furnace off of. We took the furnace off of this breaker right here. We'll put that back on there. And you get a diagram with everything, so don't try to memorize which wires I'm putting where, but... And there is your line hooked back up, and that's, that's the switch completely hooked up. Now, when you lose power, you don't touch any of this. Let's assume we're completely done, and we're going to turn our main back on again, and we're going to turn all our breakers back on again, and, it, and this is all closed up. So when you lose power, you would come over with your extension cord and plug it right into this inlet. That's all you do. Put it into that inlet. It's in the normal mode. You would then switch generator. That's all. You do not touch anything in here. You don't have to go and bother with it. When your power comes back on, all you have to do is remove your cord from your generator, standard extension cord, put that back in the normal mode, and you're complete. Um, there is, it's, it's pretty simple installation. Uh, if you have any questions, certainly you can send us an email. You can visit us at uh, easygeneratorswitch.com. Uh, we're on Facebook. If you need to look this up again, it's there. Uh, we'll show you another installation of this going directly to a piece of equipment instead of to a panel. But the theory is identical. You have the exact same wires. Nothing else changes. Um, we'd be happy to take emails from you, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.